Hello everyone, Violet here. Happy day 18 of NaNoWriMo if you're doing that. Um, I thought today I would tell you about my writing routine, what it is during NaNoWriMo and what it is normally and what it will be after Na NaNoWriMo. Um, but basically I have developed a habit over a period of many years, I have to think, I, I wanna say 10 years actually, um, of writing three pages stream of consciousness every single morning. It's called morning pages. I actually have a whole video on it. I'll link that at the end. Um, it's by Julia Cameron. It's from the artist's way. And um, yeah, so basically I am starting out my mornings still doing morning pages because I have such a strong habit with that. However, with NaNoWriMo, I am purely writing my novel during that time. And I figured out that if I write small, I can get about a thousand words in. But what's really good about this is that I am um, able to write without judging myself because that very much is the practice of morning pages. And um, yeah, it's like, it kind of takes away that fear of a blank page because it's like, oh, these are my morning pages. These are just like throwaway pages. So I'll just like go for it and see what comes out in terms of this specific scene of my novel. Um, normally when I write norm morning pages, I'll write my dreams and just depending on the day, I might write um, some like more spiritually inspired writing. I might work on a creative project kind of like NaNoWriMo I'm doing. Um, and uh, sometimes it'll just be reflection, just kind of getting things out, planning ahead, that sort of a thing. So then in the evening or at any point of the day that I get a chance with NaNoWriMo, I've been taking about um, an hour to two hours to write. And I can use what I wrote in my morning pages as a jumping off point. And at this time, I'm actually typing on my computer, so it does, you know, take time to type up whatever it was I read in my morning pages, but it really gets me started, it gets me going. And I have been lately joining a, through a few writing sprints, which has been so helpful. So um, if you want to attend my writing sprints, they're going to be next week, so you can look on my page and they're already scheduled, so you can see what time they're at and everything. Um, anyway, so first I might check in with my planner. Um, I'm keeping a planner specifically for NaNoWriMo for planning out my novel. So um, I check in with that and I get going. So that that is every single day. Right now I'm trying to write 2,000 words a day. It's taking me about an hour to two hours um, on top of morning pages to get that done. And my plan for after NaNoWriMo is to do this about once a week. Um, so I'm an artist, but my um, focus is not just writing. Writing is now a part of it, but I have uh, a lot of visual art projects. So I'm not going to be writing every single day besides morning pages. So my thought is that more so this will be once a week practice in my studio. And I'll start by looking at all of my morning pages for the whole week. And um, it'll be varied because like I said, when it's not NaNoWriMo, I write about a lot of different stuff. So I'll find the little tidbits in there that are more like creative writing. I'll see what's salvageable, I'll see what I want to edit and work on, and I will take those and type those up and um, use them for whatever writing projects I'm doing at the time. So like I said, NaNoWriMo, this is every single day. And after NaNoWriMo, it'll be once a week, but with morning pages every single morning. So that is my writing practice. I would love to hear about yours, and I hope to see you in the next video. I'm planning to talk about handwriting versus typing, since as you can tell, in my writing practice, I'm doing about half and half right now this month. Um, so I'm gonna talk about the differences that I've found between them. I'll be curious to hear your feedback on that as well. But I hope you're having a wonderful NaNoWriMo and happy writing. I'll see you tomorrow.